But first, of course, we got to talk about how you met. Man, <laughs> story's kind of interesting. I, I was thinking about, man, what I'm gonna do with my life. I was kind of out. Of, I was out of a situation, and I was just like, you know what? I got to get it together, and I got to prove that I'm that guy for somebody. And I seen mm. this woman walk out this uh, gas station. And I'm like. And this was just a couple years ago. Nah, no, it's been some it's time. Okay, okay. It's been almost a decade. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> close, okay. Yeah, close. And um, I just pointed out a tire. And then she looked up. She she was so like, I was like, oh, I'll probably she she's gonna take it serious. She's not gonna find it funny. Mm -hmm. So I was just messing with her. I'm like, I'm just messing with you. Doing, I'm just doing. How you doing? Mm -hmm. So I saw how serious she was because she had just had a situation with that actual tire. Oh, gotcha. So her mind so went into wrong, Yeah, wrong intro line. Right. right? Yeah. But it was the right one because I said, you know what, let me, you look like this is something serious. I said, I was just trying to break the ice on Jocelyn. Nothing much. Nothing. She said, okay, how you doing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she's trying to figure out, like, what was going on. But it worked right. out. We exchanged, uh, what, uh, social IG? media handles. Yeah. And you communicated through social media for a while, right? Well, like and it wasn't even often. No, it wasn't. It was like, you know, for some weeks, some months maybe, and then it, and then one day he was just like, I'm tired of, you know, speaking with you over Instagram. Like, here's my number. You can get, you know, if you want to. Use it if you choose. Yeah. Right. Use it if you choose. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh. And she chose. Yeah. She used it. <laughs> she Understood. Used it. So, looking at just pictures of your love story over the years, oh. I feel like that's Stone Mountain here in Georgia. It is. So, you guys have uh, had a lot of success together, but, but individually, right? You come to the table, obviously, mm. as uh, an established rapper an artist, an entertainer, and a radio host yes, with a history of business, and you come to the table as an established attorney. You do some criminal defense, right? But yes. real estate. Yes, is my primary area. But when did you guys say, okay, let's look at making chemistry <laughs> and turning this into a collaboration? Um, well, you know, we... You know, we we were friends. We mm -hmm. were genuine friends um, initially, but but sometimes when you meet somebody who you may or may not know is your soulmate, it mm. just things happen to where it's like, okay, you're just not going to be friends. And so, um, you know, we just kind of didn't hesitate in saying, okay, well, I feel like we should go to this next step or this mm. next level. Like mm -hmm. we just let it flow and let it go how it was gonna go, and it just. By the grace of God, ended up here. Let me tell you, you know, the minute I started looking through her social handles and stuff, I could see that she was definitely um, being on family, mm. and that was that was special to me. It was you important know? to you. And uh, I remember we just started really kind of um, seeing each other, and uh, her car had messed up, and she had mm. to go to a funeral. Mm. And I gave her my vehicle. To go to a funeral. Right. And she was like, You sure? I was like, Yeah. You need to get it's there. Good. It's right. This is what we do for people yeah. we care about. And then I could tell that that was one of those things where she was like, You know, you understood that that meant the world to me. Because right. we could have just rented a car. But right. I was like, it was the emergency type of thing. You've got to go. You've got to go. And those yeah. are the things that resonate, right? Yeah. And we know a lot of folks are going to recognize you from reality TV. Yeah. There's a whole other life that's happening beyond reality TV, right? Yeah. And uh, building business and building family is part of that, intending to each other's families as you are a family now. Yes. That's part of it, right? That's Explain. Right. Explain. She said, well, okay, oh, I, I, I can I tell you. Sorry. Um, it's, it's just really important, like you said, when we became, when we got together, especially when we got married, we, we instantly became blended in the right. eyes of God and in the eyes of the law and everything Absolutely. like that. But, you know, it, it's a it's been an exciting journey doing that you know and it's mm -hmm. really important to do that because you know he came into the marriage with children and mm -hmm. you know I love those kids you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. and so it's just it was necessary because I know me knowing him even before we got engaged and married if if it were not that way if I didn't love those kids or if I wasn't the type of person who could show love and stuff I don't think that we would have made it that it wouldn't far. have clicked it's like my end of my business on that end as a father she wouldn't have rocked with me Correct. and right. she wouldn't have known how to you know engage and embrace and just love on the kids and right. we probably wouldn't have went so it kind of worked out for both of us yeah. and I mean even 
life, we've had some changes. Um, of course. Like that picture, that, that first picture you showed, mm -hmm. that was... Um, yeah, that was shortly after a my day, father passed. Maybe a day or two after her father oh, passed. Oh, wow. Yeah, in 2018, and so... And I said, let's, let's walk this mountain. Mm, you know, why did you say let's walk the mountain? How, what was what did this symbolize for you? Well, um, we had come to a point in life where we had never been. Uh, mm. We both want, we decided we were going to get healthy together. So that's why we was on our workout regimen pretty yeah. hard. And um, I said, tell me something you've never done. And she started naming things. I said, you ever been to the top of Stone Mountain? She said, no. I said, on this day, I want you to remember this because you're somewhere now. You're at a plateau in your life you've never been by losing mm -hmm. a parent. And I said, let's let's hike this mountain. And when we get to the top, I want you to release whatever is there. Wow. And the interesting thing, when we got to the top of the mountain, she was a little winded. I was a little winded. Of course. But we were able to smile at the top of the mountain. And yeah. I think that that's that. That kind of established a lot for me as a man, mm -hmm. and I think even her as a woman. That, that, How that, long had you two been together at this point? Probably a little under two years, mm -hmm. or right at, yeah, yeah, like around about two years. It was a milestone event to go through, yeah. right? The heartache, the grief, and yes. learning to be present for each other in that space. And, yes. and I know that you have had to be present. Uh, I know you are still mourning Miss Vicky, and we thank yeah. you just for being here yeah, with and, what and you're going through. But this is what family, this is what the loved one does. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. I was there uh, the moment that they decided they were going to have to stop life support yeah, for her father. Allow her to I was transition. There. Mm -hmm. No, her father. Mm -hmm. I was there with them, mm -hmm. and she was there when my mother passed recently. Uh, I'm holding my mom's hand and praying for her. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I put her hand down, that machine started letting me know that she was going on was to be with the Lord. And she yeah. was there with me. So yeah. we've had some mile highs and some mile lows. You get to see I do. It again, I the see what high. you did. I see what and, you um, did there. I feel it. And that, the funny thing about that picture is that was, you know, my father passed. We did this. And then shortly, maybe a few weeks, not even a month later, I accompany him on Love and Hip Hop. So that was when I first began Love and Hip Hop. Wow. And it was right there. So I, he never even got to even know that I was doing it because I didn't tell anybody and then, uh, you know, so. Let's pause right here because mm -hmm. I think um, you're, you're, there's so many stories to tell yeah. and I appreciate <laughs> your candor and so many ups and downs as there are yes. with all of us.